so in last lecture uh, in derivation of mesh filter we completed up to this step okay we have taken integration outside since it is a linear operator and we have taken expectation inside right and we are left with this now we will continue further in this lecture so we know that expectation of n of t and n of t plus tau is nothing but n naught by 2 del tau where n naught is power spectral density of the noise signal right so applying this over here what we will get i am writing this step okay by applying this e of n of t n of t plus tau equals to n naught by 2 del tau okay so here it will be tau when the difference between these two is tau you can see that t plus tau minus t will give only tau so it depends on the difference over here what will what will come the difference between these two okay that is t plus tau and t right so applying this property over here what will come we get e of n of t minus tau n of t minus tau tilde expectation is nothing but n naught by 2 del of tau minus tau tilde why because this is t minus tau minus t plus tau okay so let me write by elaborating it so t minus tau minus of t minus tau tilde right so over here t and t will cancel so we are left with tau uh, minus tau tilde minus tau right so over here we are left with tau tilde minus tau okay that is the difference or we can write tau minus tau tilde if we write this one first and this one last right so over here we will get tau minus tau tilde or tau tilde minus tau whatever it is right so I am substituting this value over here since n0 by 2 is constant so I am taking it outside so this step is over here here yeah, continuing so n0 by 2 is outside integration h of tau h of tau tilde and we are left with del of this okay that is this one and d tau so now we will assume that over here one limit is left to tilde and d to right now we will assume that let inner integral is with respect to to tilde and outer with respect to to right and now we will proceed further with this assumption so n0 by 2 is outside okay i am taking this h of tau because it is the outside integral and this is the inner integral tau tilde and right so and d tau so this is the boundary okay of the the two integral that is this is the inner integral and this is the outer integral this one right with respect to tau and this is tau tilde which is the inner integral right so we can write from the property of delta function this integral directly as h of tau right because whatever is here it will come over here and we will be integrating right so as per the property we will get h of tau right so at the end we are left with n naught by 2 integral minus infinite infinity this integral is solved as h of tau only so we are left with h of tau and again this integral h of tau t tau which is nothing but n naught by 2 integral minus infinity to infinity h of tau mod square right and d tau so which is nothing but our noise power because this is for our noise signal so this is noise power right we can also further write like this e of n we can say okay this whole term is nothing but 
power of noise signal right so we can write sorry this is not power of noise signal this is power of uh, impulse response okay of the filter that is which uh, since it is a uh, time domain signal right so we will be saying that this is the e of h that is energy what is e of h where e of h is energy of filter with impulse response h of t right don't get confused this is the energy right as per the formula of energy we also know okay so no need to worry of confusion right and this whole is the noise power this whole term is the noise power okay this is this is which is highlighted is just the energy e of h right so we got uh, power of the energy component then power of the noise component right now we are all set to uh, derive our snr that is taking the ratio of these two components so what will be the snr so let us continue now what is snr so finally as per our objective snr is signal power upon noise power now we know both right so and our objective is to maximize this snr so first of all let me write snr so you can refer the last lecture okay for this component okay this component is which we have derived which is nothing but our noise power right now as per objective what we want we want to maximize snr right obviously always we want what maximize maximization of snr now in short we have to maximize this whole quantity now can you think how we can maximize this whole quantity we will be using one inequality uh, let me write the name which is nothing but kauji schwarz inequality right so which is nothing but kauji schwarz inequality and what is says okay let me write it quickly so this is kauji schwarz inequality what it says it says that let we have two functions u of t and v of t right so the integration of the multiplication of both the function and squaring it is always less than individual integration of squares of the function right so integration of u square to dt into integration of v square to dt is always less than or equal sorry it is always greater than or equal to this or you can say the integration u of t v of t dt whole square is always less than or equal to the individual integrations okay of square of the two functions right so we will be applying this inequality over here and let's say what we will get so we can say that snr is always since we are applying this inequality over here we will this equal to sign will be replaced by snr over here okay because we are replacing this whole term okay by just compare this to first of all so this can be replaced by this whole with this inequality right so this inequality is replaced and we are replacing this right now right so this is our numerator and denominator we have this simple h square to eto just we have written it's h square to right so you can see that this term will get cancelled right so at the end we are left with snr is less than or equal to ed p square t minus 2 Dito upon n not by two. Okay. So when SNR will be maximum, SNR is maximum 
when equality holds obviously because maximum snr is this one why because snr is always less than or equal to this so the maximum value this only will be this only because it is always less than or equal to this but we want maximum value so it is always this so snr is maximum when equality okay there is no inequality okay when there is inequality it is not maximum so snr is maximum when we have equality or we can say equality holds that is what does it mean it means that u of t is proportional to v of t or we can say u of t equals to k times v of t right so just applying this over here we can write p of t minus tau is proportional to h of tau or we can say p of t minus tau equals to k time h of tau just k is the proportionality constant okay and we can assume that k equals to 1 without loss of any generality so you can write like this that p of t minus tau equals to h of tau okay by assuming that k equals to 1 without loss of generality right so at the end we are left with this and what does it mean this is nothing but our condition of match filter right so this is the whole derivation of the match filter and what does it says it says that impulse response has to be made to the pulse shaping filter okay the impulse response has to be matched with the pulse shaping filter and so this filter is termed as match filter and thus to maximize snr at the receiver side one must employ the match filter okay and this is also called optimal match filter okay why optimal because we are getting the maximum snr over here because the reason is it maximizes snr okay so we can say that because it maximizes snr it is called optimal match filter right so that's all okay so there are many questions asked like this that let p of t is given in the question okay and you need to find just h of t so how we will find by this just p of t minus tau okay so this is the p of t right so just we have to first take the mirror image of it okay and then shift it so we will get this this is capital t so these are the questions which are asked in many examinations right so this is all about the derivation of the match filter okay i hope the things are clear thank you